Okay, welcome to video vlog about Java Thread Framing. This video I teach in Event Operating System concept and I use Java for demonstration. So simplify, we will focus about Java Thread Programming. So in the first lesson, I want to show you why we need to study about Java Thread Programming and how it's important. Okay, so example, I give you a list, a array list, a normal array list, and this I will uh, you will follow, up. and I need to analyze ten elements for this list. Okay, and now in the first case, in the first case, I want to use a for loop for it to iterate through this list. And if our if values equal three, I will remove it. How do you, how do you think? Is okay? Okay, I will run this. Concurrent modification exception. This is very very important exception. You need to remember exactly the name of this exception. So why with why is there are through this exception? You see, when you iterate through this list, one press will lock on this list and if another press remove the values it will return this exception because array list is a single press accessing collection it means just one thread can access as one time so I move to second case in case 2 I use for I get the values for use in this e if values equal three so I will remove using in this value so how do you think do you think it will return this exception right Okay, and we check. Sorry, I need to command this. Okay, another problem. It does our power exception. So why is our return the exception, but not concurrent modification exception? You see, when you get element from the list, the third rest here. Suppress. You can can call it a statement. A statement I set the list and then it's release. Release the list and then it check value a three and another suppress. You can call it another statement. Remove, then release. Release. It means we have two suppress or two statement inside the list at different time. So it means that it's okay. So because our list is a single thread accessing, so it's no problem with this situation. So the problem is when you remove elements, so the total number of elements is not ten anymore. It, just remain nine element. So it means the maximum values of the index is just a. So when e reach to nine, it will out by exception. So that's a problem. If we move to the K three. The K three is 
do the same manner but different style just copy okay just change one thing you see this drive it's okay okay we can run it first you need to command this no problem you see but take care take care don't use this style is violate java coding convention because you can't this side many times so it will lead to the memory and CPU use is not utilized it will uh, take a lot of memory to store the value of this side and it spend a lot of time also CPU performance to calculate the list uh, amount so it's uh, not not good to use this way so this is violate violate server coding convention it means that you shouldn't use this way so what is a suitable solution okay for what's called this solution a new iterator this plus iterator and y iter ns e blue dot next if values equal three shoot down demo three then I remove this one iter dot remove and continue okay we can test with the case for it's okay no problem it's the best one the best solution here so i want to ask you another question so which one you should you you need to compare values equal three or values equal new new integer three they are the same so you can look up about graph per class in more detail so thank you for your attention i hope that you will enjoy with java red programming because it's very important for your future programmer thank you see you in next video